Good day everyone! In this video, we will discuss about the ellipse with center at the origin. We have defined the ellipse as a set of points on the coordinate plane such that the sums of the distances of the points from the two fixed points are constant. The fixed points are called the foci of the ellipse denoted by f sub 1 and f sub 2. Also, we have discussed that the general form of the equation of an ellipse is a second degree polynomial in two variables that is ax squared plus cy squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals zero where a, c, d, e, and f are elements of real numbers. While the standard form of the equation of an ellipse with center at the origin is given by x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1 for horizontal ellipse and y squared over a squared plus x squared over b squared equals 1 for the vertical ellipse. Moreover, we have also determined the elements of the ellipse as the following. Center is the middlemost point of an ellipse. Vertices of an ellipse are the endpoints of the major axis. Each vertex is a units away from the center. Covertices of an ellipse are the endpoints of the minor axis. Each covertex is b units away from the center. Foci are the fixed points of the ellipse. Each focus is C units away from the center. Major axis is the line segment joining the vertices of the ellipse. The length of the major axis is equal to 2A. Minor axis is the line segment joining the covertices of the ellipse. The length of the minor axis is equal to 2B. Lateral recta are the line segments that contain two points on the ellipse and passes through the foci f sub 1 and f sub 2. Directrices are the lines outside the ellipse with equations x equals positive negative a squared over c or y equals positive negative a squared over c. Let us have an example. Rewrite the equation from general form to standard form and describe the ellipse. 9x squared plus 25y squared minus 225 equals 0. The first thing that we need to do is to write the equation in standard form. To do that, we need to isolate first the constant term to the right side of the equation. So we will have... 9x squared plus 25y squared equals 225. Next, divide the whole equation by the constant number. Therefore, we need to divide everything by 225. So we will have 9x squared over 225 plus 25y squared over 225 equals 1. Make sure to lowest term the numerical coefficients of the squared terms with respect to the denominator. So 9 over 225 is equal to 1 over 25. So therefore, we will have x squared over 25 plus 25 over 225 in lowest term is 1 over 9. So this will become y squared over 9. Then copy equals 1. Therefore, the standard form of the equation is x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. The higher denominator which is 25, will become our a squared, and the lower one will be our b squared. Hence, we will have a squared equals 25 and b squared equals 9. 
since a squared is the denominator of x squared, the orientation of the ellipse is horizontal. Furthermore, since a squared is equal to 25, then a is equal to 5, which is the distance of the vertices from the center. On the other hand, since b squared equals 9, then it follows that b equals 3, which is the distance of the covertices from the center. For the foci, we need to solve for the value of c using the formula square root of a squared minus b squared. Using the values of a squared and b squared, which are 25 and 9 respectively, we will have c equals square root of 25 minus 9. When we evaluate, we will have square root of 16. So therefore, c is equal to 4, which is the distance of the foci from the center. Since we already have the orientation, the value of A, the value of B, and the value of C, we can now determine the other elements of the ellipse by graphing. From our previous solution, we have learned that the standard form of the equation is x squared over 25 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. The center of the ellipse is at the origin 0, 0, and the orientation of the ellipse is horizontal. Since the ellipse is horizontal, then it follows that the vertices are on the right and left of the center with distance of 5 units since A is equal to 5. With that, we can see that the vertices of the ellipse are the points negative 5, 0 and 5, 0. On the other hand, the covertices of the ellipse are above and below the center that are 3 units away from it since B is equal to 3. Observe that these points are 0, 3 and 0, negative 3. With the vertices and covertices, we can now draw the ellipse like this. The foci are collinear with the vertices. Therefore, they are also on the right and left of the center and are 4 units away from it since C is equal to 4. Thus, the foci are the points negative 4, 0 and 4, 0. The length of the lateral recta is represented by 2b squared over a. Substituting the values of b squared and a, we will have 2 quantity 9 all over 5, which is 18 over 5 units. Finally, since the ellipse is horizontally oriented, then the directrices are vertical lines with the equation x equals positive negative a squared over c. Substituting the values of a squared and c, we can see that the directrices are the lines x equals negative 6.25 and x equals 6.25. Let us have another example. Rewrite the equation from general form to standard form and describe the ellipse. 25x squared plus 16y squared minus 400 equals 0. Again, the first thing that we need to do is to write the equation in standard form. To do that, we need to isolate first the constant term to the right side of the equation. Therefore, we will have 25x squared plus 16y squared equals 400. Next step, divide the whole equation by the constant term 400. So therefore, 
we will have 25x squared over 400 plus 16y squared over 400 equals 1. Make sure to lowest term the numerical coefficients of the squared terms with respect to the denominator. The lowest term of 25 over 400 is 1 over 16. Therefore, we will have x squared over 16. The lowest term of 16 over 400 is 1 over 25. So we will have y squared over 25. Then copy equals 1. Therefore, we have our equation in standard form to be x squared over 16 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. The higher denominator will be a squared and the lower one will be the b squared. Hence, we will have a squared equals 25 and b squared equals 16. Since a squared is a denominator of y squared, then the orientation of our ellipse is vertical. Furthermore, since a squared is equal to 25, then it follows that a is equal to 5, which is the distance of the vertices from the center. On the other hand, since b squared equals 16, then it follows that b equals 4, which is the distance of the covertices from the center. For the foci, we need to solve for the value of c using the formula c equals the square root of a squared minus b squared. Using the values of a squared and b squared, which are 25 and 16 respectively, we will have c equals the square root of 25 minus 16, which is equal to the square root of 9. So therefore, c is equal to 3, which is the distance of the foci from the center. Since we already have the orientation, the value of A, the value of B, and the value of C, we can now determine the other elements of the ellipse by graphing. From our previous solution, we have learned that the standard form of the equation is x squared over 16 plus y squared over 25 equals 1. The center is at the origin 0, 0 and the orientation of the ellipse is vertical. Since the ellipse is vertical, then it follows that the vertices are above and below the center with a distance of 5 units since A is equal to 5. With that, we can see that the vertices of the ellipse are the points 0, comma, negative 5 and 0, comma, 5. On the other hand, the covertices of the ellipse are on the left and on the right of the center that are 4 units away from it, since b is equal to 4. Observe that these points are negative 4, 0 and 4, 0. With the vertices and covertices, we can now draw the ellipse like this. The foci are collinear with the vertices, therefore, they are also above and below the center, and 3 units away from it, since C is equal to 3. Thus, the foci are the points 0, negative 3 and 0, 3. The length of the lateral recta is represented by 2B squared over A. Substituting the values of B squared and A, we will have 2 quantity 16 all over 5, which is equal to 32 over 5 units. Finally, since the ellipse is vertically oriented, then the directrices are horizontal lines with the equation y equals positive negative a squared over c. 
Substituting the values of a squared and c, we can see that the directrices are the lines y equals 8.33 and y equals negative 8.33. I hope that you have understood the lesson. For our next video, we will discuss about the ellipse with center at H, K. Thank you for listening and see you on our next discussion.